Hey everyone and welcome to my channel Learn to Code with Aditi. I am going to explain the algorithm and also write the code for this subarray division problem which is there in problem solving section of Hackerank and I am going to write the code in Java. So let me give you a small overview of this problem. We are given a chocolate bar and that chocolate bar has squares over it and each of those squares has an integer over it. There are two children Lily and Ron and they are determining how to share it. So Lily decides to share a contiguous segment of that bar based on two conditions and these two conditions are the length of the segment should match Ron's birth month and some of those integers on the squares should be equal to his birthday and Ron's birth month and birthday are given as input. I am going to take this example to explain you the situation. So let's see. Here is this bar and Ron's birth date is 3 and Ron's birth month is 2. So we can clearly see that we have to take only two blocks at a time in a particular segment because Ron's birth month is 2. So if we will take the first two blocks that is 1 and 2. So the sum of the integers written on it is 3. Then for the next two blocks sum is again 3. Then for the next two blocks sum is 4 and for the last two blocks the sum is 5. So we can clearly see that there are two segments matching our conditions. So for this case our answer is 2. So now let's read and understand the algorithm for this problem. Firstly, we are going to declare a variable count to count the number of segments which satisfy the given two conditions. And then we are going to use a loop to iterate over the bar. So we are going to take i as the iterative variable and i will vary from 0 to l minus n. We are taking L as length of the bar and M as birth month of Ron and we are taking L minus M because if we will take I from 0 to length of the bar then we will end up with a null pointer exception as we have to take two blocks at a time. So we will iterate from 0 to L minus M where the last limit that is L minus M is included. So I should be greater than equal to 0 and I should be less than equal to L minus M because L minus M for our case is 3. So we are going to iterate from 0, 1, 2 and 3. Now for the second loop we are going to take iterative variable as J and J will iterate from I to i plus m. We are not including i plus m this time because if we will include then here is 0 because for the first case i will be 0 and if we will include i plus m that is 0 plus 2 then we will end up with these 3 blocks and we have to take only 2 blocks so we are not including i plus m this time. And lastly, we are going to check if sum that is declared already here is equal to Ron's birth date or not. And if it's true, that means if sum is equal to Ron's birth date, then we'll increment count by 1. And at the end of the function, we'll return count. So let's go and write the code. We are already given with all the input formats and everything. We have to just write this function birthday. So we are given a list of integers that is s. So we have to receive this list in an array list. So create an array list. Let's name it list. Now we have to explicitly cast it into an array list, this list, because list is the parent class of array list and it can't typecast itself into an array list. Now 
Now we are going to declare a variable count whose initial value will be 0 of course. Then for loop I will range from 0 to L minus M which is included. Then we are going to declare a variable sum whose initial value will be 0 after every iteration. Then we are going to take a variable j whose initial value will be i and it will range from i to i plus m where i plus m is not included. And then we will increment sum by this list element every time and then after every iteration of this for loop we are going to check if sum is equal to Ron's birth date. If it's true then we are going to increment count by 1. After all this we are going to return count. Here L should be list dot size. Now let's submit the code. All test cases are clear. So if you found this video helpful, so please go like, share and subscribe to my channel. And let's meet in the next video with another challenge of HackerRank. Thank you.